Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have all new Valentine's Day Dollar Tree DIYs to share with you. These are all going to be very easy to recreate and one of the best things about these are you are not going to need a lot of items to create these just a few items per DIY and they're really quick. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. Starting off with my favorite DIY from this video and I think it is going to be a favorite of yours as well. So you guys might remember I picked up this jumbo craft heart and I told you I had an idea for it and the idea was actually inspired by this DIY that I did last year. These yarn hearts were one of your favorite DIYs last year. So many of you guys told me how much you loved this craft. So I had an idea this year when I saw this large foam heart that we could basically recreate this craft but just supersize it this year and kind of make it 3d since these foam hearts are a bit bigger than those flat hearts that i used last year so all you have to do is just pick up one of these foam hearts from dollar tree and one of their balls of yarn so this is the chenille yarn it's that nice really soft yarn they have it in a few different colors i picked it up in pink as well as white and all you have to do for this craft is just hold a piece of the yarn in the center of the heart and then just start to wrap it around all over the place you wrap it around a few times it's going to hold that starting piece in place so you don't need to glue it down or anything and you just want to make sure that you're kind of just varying up the way you wrap it and going in all different directions just to give it more texture and just to kind of make it look a little bit more visually interesting and to just make sure that you're covering up all of that foam so none of it is visible and it did end up taking the entire ball of yarn so now to finish it off I'm just taking that small strand and just tucking it underneath a few of those other ones and then trimming it off. That way I don't need to glue it. It will just stay in place from the pressure. And I loved that one so much that I decided to grab another foam heart and do the craft again with the white yarn this time. Now you might be wondering how long does it take to wrap this entire heart with the full ball of yarn? And honestly, it's not that bad. I would say each one of these took around 10 minutes from start to finish, but if you're doing a bunch of them, just put on a fun Valentine's Day movie and it will be done before you know it. Here is my second one all done and I'm just tucking that last piece under a few of those strands. And I actually ended up making four in total because I thought it would be so fun to kind of display them all in this bowl here. They just look so vibrant and it really does just put a smile on my face. But if you just want to make one, I think this is so cute to put out by a pillow. It kind of just adds a fun Valentine's Day accent to it. But either way, you can't go wrong with these really fun, adorable jumbo yarn hearts. This next one is another one of my favorites because you only need three items and some scissors. So all you want to do is start off with this heart frame from the Dollar Tree. Now this one's actually in their floral area, not in the Valentine's Day area. So be sure to check over there. But if you can't find it, this is another option. So this is just a Valentine's Day decoration. This one does have a plastic frame on the inside. So if you wanted to use it for this craft, you would just have to remove the tinsel. But I would really recommend the wire one here if you can find it, just because we're going to be kind of pulling and tugging a little bit and the wire frame is just a bit sturdier. And the second item you were going to need is this pink fleece baby blanket from Dollar Tree. We're actually going to be needing two of these and you can just find these in the baby area. They tend to have these all year long. So to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and take off the tag from my blanket and then just open it up all the way. And then I'm going to be folding it in half and then folding it one more time. So basically just folding it into quarters here. And now I'm going to take my scissors and just cut along the one edge because I just want to cut this in half. We're going to need to cut this blanket into long strips in order to tie them to our wreath frame. And I'm just going to be showing you the easiest way that I found to do that. So once I had it cut in half, I had four layers. And now I'm just going to take my scissors and start to cut all the way up to the top to make long strips. I'm cutting the strips so they are about two inches thick. Now, once I had these cut, you're going to see the bottom part here was kind of curved because it was the edge of the blanket. So I am going to go ahead and just trim those off because I do want these to have more of a rectangle shape. 
wanted to show you an easier way to cut it. So I do have a self healing mat here. So you do want to do it on a surface that is okay to be kind of cut on, but this is the round rotary cutter from Dollar Tree. And it's not as good as maybe some of the other ones, but it does cut through this fabric really nicely. I've never had any issue with it. Now I did have to kind of split my fabric in half. So that way I'm only cutting two strips at a time instead of four, but this was a lot easier to work with than my scissors. And I did get more precise cut so if you're at Dollar Tree and you see it you might want to pick it up in the crafter square so now since I did divide my fabric in half that way I can cut it with the rotary cutter I'm just going to go ahead and cut the rest of my strips so here is one full blanket with all of the strips cut and these ended up being about two inches wide by 15 inches long now it's okay if they're not all exactly the same you're not going to be able to tell in the final heart so as long as they're roughly the same size you'll be good so now to attach them to the heart I'm gonna start at the top here and just work on one half first and all you want to do is just put your fabric piece underneath your heart and you will see here I am trimming the edges and that's just because the blanket did have kind of a finishing blanket stitch running around the edge you can cut it off if you want to or leave it it's not that big of a deal so I did go ahead and just trim it though but now I'm just going to fold my fabric in half right around the heart and then I'm going to put a knot so you can kind of see it here I'm gonna leave it in normal speed so after I just made sure it was even on both sides I'm just going to loop it around and pull it through to just make a knot and then just kind of pull it so it's nice and snug and you just want to repeat those same steps for all of your fabric pieces now this one is really easy but it does take a little bit of time so this is another DIY that you might want to pop on a fun movie for that's what I did here I just had a fun movie playing in the background as I kind of sat here and just put on all of my fabric pieces it didn't take too long though I would say maybe 10 to 15 minutes so here I was after I finished up with my first blanket so all of my strips that I had cut before this is them on the heart it only gets you to half of a wreath so all of these strips here is my second blanket that I just cut off camera so now I'm gonna go ahead and just attach all of those so you do need both blankets to fill up the entire heart but here it is so it's only three items and you make this beautiful amazing heart wreath I think it is so pretty this would look really cute hanging on a door or I just have it displayed here I will probably end up hanging it up but I think it looks really sweet just like this as well Next, I'm going to be sharing a really easy way to decorate these wood pieces. So you might see these at Dollar Tree and not really know what to do with them. They have a bunch of different plain ones. This is the love sign here. And to get started, I just like to give it a nice base coat of paint and you can definitely paint it by hand, but I'm just going to be spray painting it because for me, that is the easiest option and I like how it just kind of gives it a nice even coat. I decided to go with a light pink color, but I think white and red would also work perfectly. So now we are ready to decorate. So I'm going to be using these wood hearts from Dollar Tree. You get 24 of them in a pack and you have three different colors and multiple sizes. So all you want to do is just kind of take a bunch of them out of the pack, lay them around and figure out what looks good to you. So I was pretty happy with this arrangement. So now I'm just going to go ahead with my hot glue gun and secure them all in place. Next, I took one of the larger pink hearts from the pack and one of the smaller natural ones, and I'm just going to be gluing them together because I wanted to add them to the center of my love sign. Now, I wanted to use fishing line so it can kind of look invisible, but I couldn't find any, so we are just going to be using some twine today. I had the two hearts glued together. I just flipped my sign over, and I'm going to be adding some hot glue to the back along with a small piece of twine. Now, I did hold it in place until it was dry, and you do want to pull it nice and tight and then you can go ahead and just trim off the edges now you just want to add some hot glue to your heart and add it to the twine now if you don't want this to kind of be mobile if you don't want it to swing a little bit and move around you can definitely just hot glue this to a toothpick and then hot glue it to the back as well that way it wouldn't move and it would be pretty invisible if you glue it on the bottom but I thought it was fun that it can kind of swing back and forth a little bit and here's a closer look at how it turned out 
This next DIY only takes two minutes and you only need two items. So the only thing you have to pick up from Dollar Tree are these glass frames. So these are the floating frames and I think that they are just so beautiful. And the only other thing you're gonna need is this free printable. So you can find this on my blog. I'm gonna leave it linked down below. But these four different designs and I'm gonna show you just kind of a fun way to style them. But again, I'll leave this link down below and you can just head on over to my blog and print it out. I did decide to print it out on cardstock, but you can also just use regular paper as well. So this one here that says love is a light pink color in the background. So if you want to kind of cut the rest out, I would say this is a good one to cut out first because you can kind of use it as a guide to cut out the rest because it is the perfect size to fit into these floating frames. So that's what I did with the candy hearts as well as the love one. But for these two here, I had a different idea. So the one here just says, I love you. And it kind of looks like a love note. So I thought it would be fun to kind of just rip the edges of it. And then I just did the hearts to match. It would just give it a really fun vintage look and it kind of looks like a handwritten love note it just kind of had a romantic feel to it so now i'm just going to open up these frames and if you haven't seen them before the back kickstand just pops right out and then you can open up the tabs to take out the two glass pieces now my only issue with these frames is when you take off the paper insert it is kind of taped pretty tightly with some double-sided tape to the glass but it's okay, as long as you rip off that paper, you can kind of use it to your advantage because you can just re-stick your photo right to that sticky tape because it's still plenty sticky, trust me. Now you can just put on your second piece of glass and put it back into the frame, close up the tabs, and then you can just put the kickstand back in place. Idea would definitely work and I think be even better if you have a handwritten love note from somebody special or if you just wanted to write one to somebody, this is a really great way to display it. It looks so beautiful how it's just kind of suspended in the glass in the frame and it just has such a romantic feel to it. So I did want to show you how both versions look though. So here's the first one with the kind of hand ripped love note and the hearts in the background. And then next I'm going to show you the two other photos that I kind of just cut out more traditionally. But either way, I think it looks really sweet and these would also be great to pair with a couple's photo in black and white and then maybe a little handwritten love note. You guys might remember I told you I was so excited to find this Valentine's Day tree at Dollar Tree, but I hadn't found the ornaments. Well, I did end up finding them, thank goodness. And I just wanted to show you a really easy way to kind of style it with a mini DIY. So in the box photo, they do have these ornaments here and these are the ones I found at Dollar Tree. However, I didn't find the little rose ones that are pictured in the photo, but they did have some other roses at Dollar Tree that you can definitely just buy and kind of make work for this one. But I only picked up the hearts. So they had them in the three different colors. They had the really kind of fuchsia pink, the traditional red, and then this light pink here. So when you pop it out of the box, you're gonna have your tree and then this little stand here so you can just pop those in place then you just want to put it on your table and start to pull down all of the branches it was a little sparse but don't worry we're going to be filling it up with a lot of ornaments so it will definitely look full at the end for now i'm just going to be adding these two packs of ornaments and then we're going to be adding a few more items so after i had my hearts on i decided to grab this light pink ribbon from dollar tree and i just made a bunch of bows to kind of go all throughout my tree Next, I grab this heart ribbon and I cut a nice long piece and I'm just going to wrap it around my tree to kind of use as garland. Also add a large bow up top to act as my tree topper. So now for our mini DIY, I'm starting with a piece of red felt and I'm just going to be folding it in half and then half again so I have quarters. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and just trim off the edge because I wanna be left with more of a square. Now I'm going to take my scissors again and just go ahead and cut the edges so they have more of a scalloped detail. Now I'm going to open it up and this is what I'm left with. Now I'm going to take my scissors and just go ahead and just cut on that line in the center until I get to the middle. Then I'll fold it in half one more time and cut a half circle. And this is just going to create a small area for the trunk of our tree. So now to kind of decorate our tree skirt, I'm just going to take some pink felt, 
fold it in half and cut out some hearts. This is a really simple design, but you can get really creative here and add a ton of embellishments, maybe some roses or even some pearls would be really pretty. So whatever you can think of, I think would be so fun on this tree skirt. And then once you are happy with your design, you can just hot glue everything in place. And now our Valentine's Day tree has a mini tree skirt. I think I'm definitely gonna go ahead and add some more embellishments. I think it looks fun just like this, but I'm thinking some pearls would be really cute. And that is everything for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these DIYs. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Working on another DIY video for Valentine's Day that I'm going to try and get out as soon as I can to you guys. And then I also do have a fun decorate with me as well as a haul coming up. So be sure to stay tuned for those. Thank you guys so much for watching. To subscribe to my channel, you can just click on my picture right here and be sure to check out this video for some more crafting fun.